good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Thank you, Kira. Thank you for that. <laughs> Kira's like, Dad's getting a Jeep out. Are we going for a ride? Yeah. Are we going for a ride? You want to go for a ride in a Jeep? So it's uh, going to be 83 degrees outside today, which is a little strange for September. But uh, we thought, hey, it's so really, really with the ball and the noise. What are we going to do with you? It'll keep going until I stop it. Because see how it's rolling? Every time it vibrates, it goes off. This is Kira's favorite toy. If you guys don't know, it's called a waggle ball. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link for it down below. I'm putting it here so it doesn't go off. Okay? Like yeah, okay. Well, you stay there since you like that. So anyway, back to what I was saying. We are going to go out on a Jeep ride. I don't know if we're going to go to the Apple Farm. They are open but it's the weekend, which means there'll be a million people there. So we're not really sure what we're gonna go, but we have something we wanted to show you that we're gonna take along with us. Today, you guys, we are going to be checking out the Magellan TR7 Cam. What do you think, Memphis? Let's open this sucker up and uh, see what's inside. Flip the box over so you guys can see some of the features on the box. Here we go. Ooh. Whoa, check that out. That's pretty cool. So we will mount this in the Jeep and it's gonna help us on some trail rides. So here's all the goodies that came in the box. We got the unit itself. Of course, I gotta peel this off of here. Let's go ahead and do that now. Can I do that with one hand while holding the camera? Okay, maybe not. I'll take it off in a second. <laughs> the mount for it, we got the plugs, the adapter for the car, all the information of what's in here, and the instructions. So as you can see here on the back of the GPS unit, it has a camera, which is kind of cool. We're going to read through the instructions and get this thing set up. All right, check that out. So all those orange roads are off-road trails. We're going to hook this thing up and see uh, what we can go find. All right, girls. You want to go for a ride in Daddy's Jeep? Do you? You want to go for a ride? Memphis is like, open the door. Open it. Open the door, Dad. Open the door. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we're getting out of this house for a little bit. All right, we got it all hooked up. Let's see what we think of it. Here's like, let's go. We're going, girls. We're going. Oh, they just figured out where we are. Oh yeah. They just figured it out. They're like, whoa, oh my gosh. She's stretching so far. Look at those tails go. <laughs> Look, you guys. There's Shelby's pool. No, we're not gonna let Kira jump in it. We thought about it, but it's not as warm out as you think. Greg's garden, it's a little overgrown by now, but it's the end of the season. But he just gave us some tomatoes out of there, and now they're checking, they're checking the pumpkin field over here. So Greg grew a bunch of pumpkins, but he didn't fertilize. So we got some, but they're not huge, but you can kind of see them in there. So in a couple weeks, we'll have to come out, and because this is all pumpkins. But you can see some of the orange in there. We'll have to pluck them out of there. I know, I'm way over here and you're way over there. I get it. He's also got a couple pumpkins in there too. Sorry, we're only here for a few minutes. You're not getting out of the car. There's like a barn cat that'd kick your butt. Just like, I'll kick that barn cat's butt. No, nah, I'm pretty sure Mr. Pickles would kick your butt. I don't know where he's at. I was gonna try to film him, but I think he's back in the barn already. So we came out to the back of Greg's farm and there's a little critter stuck in this little fenced in area. It's another groundhog. It is a groundhog. Greg's gonna try to get him out. It is a groundhog. Greg's in a fight with a groundhog. I don't think he's scared of you. Hi, sweetheart. He's saving you. He's getting you out of the fenced in area. He did it. See you later, friend. Bye. <laughs> you saved him! What? What? They're like, I would have saved him, I'd have snacked on him. So this is the road that we take to get down to the river. Look, we are jeeping. <laughs> <laughs> you see Kira? Kira's like, oh my gosh, I can reach these trees. There's, those trees are a little tall there, honey. I don't think you can reach them. <laughs>
Yeah. Oh yeah, yep. So it's definitely what an inch or two higher maybe? Or at least. You gotta come down that hill to get here. Yep, it is stirred up a little bit too. Kira, where are you going? Huh? You don't wanna stop and see the view? I'm just like, I'm fine. Kira, where are you going? Hey. I'm going, Dad. We're leaving. <sighs> going this way. She doesn't even know where she's at. No, she's just like, I want to run. You guys let me on the bike, and I got to run. Now I just want to run. Are you following the deers? We made it to, what, Wolf Creek Park? Wolf Creek Park. Kira. The creek that runs behind Greg's house. This is the same creek that runs behind Greg's, yep. Mm -hmm. Baby apples behind you. I saw the little baby apples in the tree, but Come on, we'll there you the go. Water. Yeah, I think they smell the deer. Uh, I think that's exactly what they smell. Yeah, are you smelling for the deers? Can we go back this way? Can we see the water? No, you're not going that way. No, no. Come on, let's go this way. She pulls so hard. <laughs> Oh, that looks like a little drop off there, girl. I don't eat the grasses. She's like, oh, Memphis did it? I got confidence now. Come on. Hey. Hi. Yeah, you love it in the water, huh? Oh, yeah, and it's been like two weeks since I've been swimming, guys. Nice little rapids up there under the bridge. Did you like it, huh, Memphis? Are you gonna eat the grasses too? How about no? Go ahead, Memphis. Come here. Come here. She's like, mm, my bad. I don't know. I don't know if she f knows how to feel about the bottom. Daddy's gonna let you swim. Go ahead. Oh, there you go. Right there. Go yeah, back. there it is. <laughs> She's like, I can still touch. Yeah, it's not very deep for okay, you, huh? Okay, you don't want it. I won't force you. In. You chasing frogs or something? <laughs> All right, wet dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the Jeep. So we have made it to Hubbard Lake, Michigan, and it's three o'clock, and we realized we were a little hungry. We got food. It's also 84 degrees. It is 84 degrees what, outside. It's September 11th? Yeah, it is September 11th, the day we're filming this. <laughs> I got you a burger. You don't have to eat the center thing. <laughs> I did. I even got you a cheeseburger. What? All right? Cheeseburger? All right. I'm spoiled. All right. All right, we're gonna open this up and eat some food. I don't even know what side to film this from, but holy <laughs> cow, that is a beautiful looking club sandwich. Oh, oh man. That's a burger. That's yours, not mm -hmm. the dog's. Yep. That one's got the onions on it. But we did get one. For we did get dog. one for the dogs. I got it up here and open so it'll cool off for them. All right, we're going to eat. You'll get, you'll get yours in a minute. All right, I think your cheeseburger is cooled enough. We'll get you. Mom, is that cheeseburger? Is that, <laughs> that cheeseburger is for me? Is it, would you like that cheeseburger? <laughs> Would you, yes, please, do you think, mama. do you think you should get a bite of that cheeseburger? Yes, please. You have to share it with this dog back here who's having a good time watching people. Hi. <laughs> you, would you like a cheeseburger too? Yeah. Oh, it's cheeseburger time. All right, let me break you off some pieces so you don't woof the whole thing down. Okay, this is a, this is a big bite. That was way too big of a bite. Okay, you go that way. Now it's your turn. You go away. You should chew your food. <laughs> Hold on. You can't have all of it now. You get two bites now, and then you'll get two bites in a little bit. Okay. Okay, Ray. Mm -hmm. You. Yeah! Oh, hey! I saw that. I, wasn't I was looking. Older. I was looking the wrong way. I wasn't. Older. You mean? <laughs> you. You stop. No. You stop. She's like, I can take it again. Oh my god, you him a girl over me. <laughs> you get the button. You mean. All you right, mean. we're saving the rest for a little bit later. So we, uh, like we said, we're at Hubbard Lake. We're at the boat launch. You can see truck after truck after truck with boat trailer. And they're all, th I, I'm surprised there's that many people out there with uh, how choppy this lake yeah, is right now. Uh... It is some serious chop right now. Oh look, there's a little library. So this is Hubbard Lake. We haven't been out here in a really long time. There's a lot of lake chop out there. Yeah, wow. Yeah. But they're out there, they're enjoying one of, probably one of the last warm weekends. Yep. Don't hit that rock. Okay, I'll try. I mean, you could probably drive over it. You could have taken it. <laughs> All right, continuing on. Oh, it's with the Corvettes. Must be a parade. There's a Corvette. Oh, there's a one. Corvette. Wow. 
Oh. Oh yeah, they're tooling around the lake. Yep. Either that or there was a car show out here that we didn't know about. No, they're they're joyriding. Huh. I don't know if you guys can see this, but on this GPS we can actually find off-road trails and it gives us all the information about them shows us what type of vehicle can be driven on them and where where to go to get there so we might have to find one of these close to where we're at but first another view of Hubbard Lake is this where Churchill Point is? Uh no. Okay no. that used to be a restaurant right in front of us though yeah. right? Yep. There's a lot of there's a lot of cabins and cottages around Hubbard Lake and uh, there used to be quite a few different little restaurants and neat areas but not too many of them are still open. There was also an old ski hill out here, Mount Moriah. Yep, we are closer to Mount Moriah. But it's not open anymore either. I think somebody bought it. Yeah, that used to be a restaurant a long time ago. Yep, there's Hubbard Lake again. We're gonna go along the water. All right. There's all these little cabins. That's a garage. Yeah, right. <laughs> Some of them, they're, look at how little that one is. It's so cute. And the one in front of us. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. There's definitely parts of the lake where there's great big huge houses as well. Look, right. Lake Street. These people have their lake accesses on this side and then their cabins are over on this side. We got the GPS telling us to hit one of these trails, so we're gonna go wherever it tells us to go. Okay, so it found a forest road. This is definitely a... A forest road. A two track. <laughs> and now we're on it and it's, uh, it's telling us where to go. And I'm trying a thing because it's like I showed you guys it's got a camera on it So I guess we're trying to time-lapse this one. So uh, if the time-lapse is turned out, we'll enter it right here Get it, girls! Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> oh my goodness, so many! Grab all the trees! <laughs> what are those? Do you know what those are? Those are fluffy cows. <laughs> I don't know. Here, I'm going to zoom in. So these are Scottish Highlander cows. Look how fluffy they are. They're so fluffy. They're so cute. Just, just these two on this side or the... They're all, all of these are Scottish Highlander. All of them are Scottish. One of those I think is Annie. Yeah. I know the lady that owns these cows. <laughs> Look at how cute they are. Look at, there's one coming right towards us. He's like, I'm, I'm coming to check you out. You got food? That one's got really big horns. Mm -hmm. What do you, th oh, I gotta zoom out. What do you think, Memphis? What do you think? Those cows are, they're fluffy like you guys. What do you think of that? Them fluffy cows. Oh, there's the baby. See him way out there, the little white one. And then in the back there is uh, all the Clydesdales. So the horses way in the back, I'll zoom in here in a minute. Those are uh, like the Budweiser horses. There's a baby right there. There's a baby laying down right there in the grass. Oh, yeah. wow. A little, little baby. So anyway, yeah. So these are Scottish. Look at that horse back there running. And then those are the Clydesdales all back there. So they live in that barn. And then these are all the, all the Scottish Highlander cows. Man, that horse is running. This one with these big horns. Holy cow. <laughs> get it? Holy cow. <laughs> Jamie, can we get a cow? Specifically, can we get one of these cows? No, but you could probably... Uh... What is it? Adopt, not adopt one. What is that called? Where, sponsor? Yeah, you could probably sponsor one. We could sponsor a cow. <laughs> that one's a baby and that one's a baby. But then this little red baby over here, that's a cute one. What do you think of them, Kira? They're fluffy cows. Yeah, they're You're fluffy. Like the what do you think, Memphis? <laughs> so, guys, this is the greatest television show on the planet. Fluffy cows. <laughs> the fluffy cow show. Are they cute? Like they're so cute. I love them so much. 
I love him so much too. I see pictures of him on the internet all the time. Oh, the, the horses are running back there. They're all running. All right, bye cows. Yeah, we better go. We'll leave you, leave you to your snacking. We made it back! Was that super fun? Yo oh, man, that was so much fun. That was, that was pretty cool. What do you think about it? Yeah, that was definitely nice. I yeah. liked it. Yeah. I'd like to test out some more of the, hey, where's this trail at? Yeah, just, me just, too. Just to see. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I think it's a win. I like it. There'll be some links for it down in the video description below. What's the deal? Are you tired? We were in a Jeep for five hours. Do you know that? That was a five hour car ride. Yeah. Memphis was just sleeping, but then she heard Jamie start the Jeep again because he's moving it back into the garage. Yeah, you can go to sleep. You could take a nap. You didn't really nap in the car, so you probably... Yep, there you go. Oh, there you go. Get that beauty sleep. You need some beauty sleep. Kira's falling asleep sitting up. She's like, I, I'm fighting it. No, I give in. I give in, I take a nap too. Yeah, is it nap time? They're both like, Mom, shut up. We're trying to sleep. Okay, you girls sleep. Get some rest. I'm gonna go get some work done. You get some rest. I love you. Thought we would show you guys the progress on the pool as well. So yeah, we have cement in the bottom of the pool now. That's where we're at. Also, Jamie painted the shed like yesterday. <laughs> it's not completely done yet, but it looks pretty nice. They got the bottom cemented into the pool. They said next week the people that are putting the auto cover should be here, so then that will get put on. And then the electrician's supposed to be coming. And then pretty much after that they should cement this all in and we should be able to put water in the pool. I'm guessing it'll still be at least another two weeks. That's my guess. Will we get to use it before, before we have to winterize it? I think the dogs will. I'm hoping. But if not, it might just have to wait till next year. We're making air fryer corn on the cob. When we stopped at Greg's we picked up some green tomatoes which we'll probably fry tomorrow, some yellow tomatoes which were really good, and then a couple of red tomatoes. So we're having tomato and mayo sandwiches on toast today. Have you ever had that? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, my helper is here. Hi, you're blurry, hold on. There you go, yeah. And of course, my little fluffy helper is here. Let's go find that other fluffy helper. Where, oh where is the other fluffy, there you are. You hanging out in here till the air fryer is done? Okay. It'll be done soon, I swear. First, ignore the fact that he's drinking Canada Dry and not Verner's. That's just what we bought because it was on sale. <laughs> I said to the audience, have you ever had a tomato and toast, tomato mayo and toast sandwich? But I haven't read the comments yet because the video is not up yet. My, my sandwich is bleeding. But in case nobody believes us, we're really having Whoops. tomato and mayo and yeah. salt and pepper yeah, just add a little salt and pepper. It is literally the greatest thing when you have fresh tomatoes from the garden. Okay. Thanks, Greg, for dinner. It's Greg corn from Greg's field. Tomatoes from Greg's field. Thanks, Greg. We appreciate mm -hmm. you. All right. Well, I guess you girls are fully ready for bed, huh? Like, that's it. <laughs> Yawning and everything. We're going to bed. All right, you guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. Good night, audience.